going on guys? Access Magical Team Up Turn again. Today I'm going to show you Rohan's Kernel Build 5 for the HTC One XL, uh, AT&T One X for some of you. Uh, this kernel has uh, the ability to overclock your phone up to two, uh, 2 gigahertz, has undervolting, uh, has a lot of governors, has a couple IO schedules. Um, it has uh, swiped awake which is really cool. You can, you can uh, slide on your screen like like this and it'll, it'll wake your phone which I'll show you after to install this uh, low memory fix killer fixes uh, he it's got a lot of, a lot of stuff in here actually um, I'll, I'll leave a link in the OP um, under this video for the OP so you can view all the uh, all the stuff he's added to this kernel so what I'm going to do is uh, download it, install it, reboot the phone and check out the new kernel so what you want to do is you want to go to this uh, page here and you want to download B5, unless there's a new one out there. Save to your desktop. Go ahead and uh, turn on your phone. Make sure USB is connected to transfer files. Turn on USB storage. Okay. All right. With that turned on, we are going to go to the desktop, and we are going to send the kernel to the phone. Once that's done, it's very fast. Uh, once that's done, eject your phone, go back to your phone, and you're going to turn off USB storage. You're going to install Flash GUI if you don't already have it. Uh, you can get this from the market, it's free. Uh, if you have Dirty ROM installed, which this is, this is Dirty ROM, uh, it comes pre-installed on the ROM. Uh, what you're going to do now is select the kernel image, hit browse, look for the kernel. Okay, once that's that's done, hit flash image. Okay, now the kernel's installed. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and hit reboot. This is a standard reboot and see what happens. Alright guys, <clears throat> got the kernel installed, we're all booted back up. What I'm going to do is go ahead and system settings here and go to about phone, make sure the kernel's there, which it is. You see here, there it says B5. Now let's try out these swipe the wake. I think it's enabled by default, let me see. Oh, there it goes. So you can slide it and it wakes the phone and it turns it back off. So it's pretty cool. Alright. Of course, this has overclocking features, uh, undervolting features. Let's go ahead and check them out. Um, a good app to use would probably be uh, System Tuner Pro or Set CPU. I don't have either installed. Uh, but in Dirty ROM, you do have the Performance tab. Uh, some ROMs have it, some don't. Um, so you go to Processor. You can go to maximum CPU frequency, have it set to 7, 1728, you can go to 1998, make sure you check the box set on boot, that way it saves it. If you don't check this, when you reboot, it's going to reset anyway. Uh, it's got a few governors here, you know, we've got the uh, Savage Gen, Smart S, Smart V2, Interactive, Lag Free, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prize to uh, Smart S V2, that's so I used to use my Evo back in the day. So you have those settings, you got your IO schedules, uh, I'll leave it at deadline. Got your memory management, uh, you can turn on your ZRAM just like the other one, you can set it to 18%. Uh, you have 16-bit transparency, uh, transparency and surface improvement. Um, so right now we are clocked at 2.0 gigahertz. You can see it's it's fast. It's not like you know, it's not a real big big difference. I don't really know it's a big difference. Um, I usually just leave my phone stock at you know 1.5 gigahertz. I don't really need to overclock it. But um, this is currently clocked at 2.0. Uh, as you can see, I do have the animations turned on, just so you guys don't think I'm uh. 
I'm cheating here. Where are they at? See? 1x, 1x, not 1.5, not not 0.5 like some people do where they turn them off altogether and it's like, you know, it's just super fast. So I'm not doing that. Actually if you turn them off and see how it looks with them all off. There you go. Now you click on stuff and it's like an instant instant thing there. The only thing that has animations is the uh, launcher because that's separate it's a separate application. But over here everything's instant. But I like my transition animation, so I'm gonna turn all stuff back on. So that's it. That's how to install a kernel. Now if you're going to install a new ROM, it's the same process. Flash your kernel, reboot and recovery, flash the ROM, and so on and so forth. Just make sure you wipe your settings, you know, your data, your system, all that stuff. If you're going to use flash a different kind of ROM. If you're upgrading a ROM, you can just flash your system and install the ROM, and that's all you gotta do. So this is Access Magical Team Eternal. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it, follow us on Google Plus, uh, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, hit us up in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you for watching.